How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome to the review of the second in form five star skiller from Barcelona. It is the Brazilian Neymar. If you do want some coins, head over to FIFAninja.com, use a code M89 to get yourself 5% off. Every link that you will need is in the description below, and you might just need it because just look at his price 4.2 million on the Xbox, 8 million coins, 8 million on the PlayStation. Honestly, the market over there at the minute is just sky high. It's just crazy. I don't know what's going on on the PlayStation market. Five star skills, five star weak foot, high to medium work rates, and he scored me 11 goals in eight games. Now, I remember reviewing the first in form, and I said, I can't wait until he gets a second in form, because it'll be fantastic. Lads, he does not disappoint. In terms of stats, attack and position in 93, 93 acceleration, agility of 94, 85 balance, 87 reactions, 90 sprint speed, 91 stamina. The only letdown in there was his 48 strength. In terms of skill attributes, I mean, my good God, just look at some of these. 91 ball control, 96 dribble and 96 dribble, and that's so good. And 91 finish, and so when he does drift inside, he more often than not finds the back of the net with his 82 shot power as well. So in game, what you want to do is get the ball down this left-hand side to Neymar, then slowly skill your way inside. Don't worry if you can't skill, because literally, sometimes you can just walk inside because his ball control is that good. And this is what you want to do. You want to find a gap, you want to find an opening, keep dribbling into it till you get the chance to score. Pull the trigger, it will go into the back of the net. Otherwise, if you can't get in the box, simply finesse it from outside the box. Don't go for power because it doesn't really work with Neymar, so finesse the shots from roughly 20 yards out. Any further than that, it does go off target because his long shots really aren't that good. Now, this is what I like about this card. Just drifting inside, just look at the pace, just look at the power, and he just skips past that opponent like he wasn't even there, and he does put it in the back of the net. A powerful run there from Neymar. Just love that about this card. His acceleration, his pace overall is just fantastic. Honestly, Honestly, it's like having Walcott up front, but with five-star skills. Honestly, if this guy was a striker, that would be a game-breaker. He'd be like striker Ronaldo. Honestly, he really would, apart from lacking the bit of strength that Ronaldo does have. And of course, on this left-hand side, you will be asking the question, who's better, second in form Neymar or Team of the Year Ronaldo? Obviously, it's Team of the Year Ronaldo because he's that good. But second in form Neymar is a good substitute because he's a great little player. In terms of pros, you got the five-star skills. You can't come away from that. His dribbling's fantastic. His ball control is impeccable. His pace, I've already spoke about it. He's just a speed merchant. And cutting inside is what you want to do every single time with this card. Literally cut inside. And this is what he's good at as well. Dribbling his way into advantageous positions and winning penalties, winning free kicks. This time I do win a free kick on the edge of the area. Honestly, if I got this in the area and scored the goal, that would have been one of my best goals on FIFA. But he did hack us down and I do win a free kick. From the resulting free kick, it's in off the crossbar, in off the defender. And uh, yeah, into the back of the net as another free kick flies into the back of the net. Another one that Neymar did win. So in terms of cones, you're looking at strength. He is very weak, so he will go down from time to time. But like I said, he goes down in the right positions and he does win free kicks, he wins penalties and he gets you results at the end of the day. So overall, Neymar for me, he's getting a 9.6, the only corner is his strength and obviously the price at the moment in time on the PlayStation. Guys, that will be it for this review. I hope you have enjoyed. Remember to smash that thumbs up button if you have, subscribe if you haven't already and as always, I will catch you all next time.